please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. On Tuesday, March 29th, the NGO Amnesty International published its report for the year 2021. On the issue of human rights and democracy, the picture was painted black for several African countries. Cameroon, which is caught in a vice by several armed groups, is not the rest. Apart from the regular army, separatist groups are also singled out in the Noso. The part of the report which pinpoints the armed groups in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon reads as follows. Armed groups again committed serious human rights abuses in the northwest and southwest regions this year, attacking people, medical facilities and schools. Between January and June, the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, reported 29 attacks on medical facilities in the northwest region and 7 in the southwest region. Medical professionals and patients were abducted and buildings were set on fire. On 9th January 2021, the director of a school located in Osin, southwest region, was reportedly killed by unidentified men. According to OCHA, on March 5th, unidentified gunmen abducted a student from a school in Batoke, a village in the southwest region. March 6th, armed men abducted two members of the teaching staff and a student from a school in Bamenda, northwest region. On November 24th, unidentified gunmen attacked a school in a Kondo city, killing four students and a teacher. On February 27th, suspected armed separatists abducted a doctor in the Northwest region, accusing him of not supporting their cause. This man was released after the payment of a ransom. According to the National Union of the Journalists of Cameroon, SNJC, a Cameroonian radio television journalist, Sierra TV, was abducted from her home by a suspected armed separatist on March 13th. She was released after paying a ransom. On June 15th, six civil servants were abducted in Missouri Balu of Southwest Region and one of them was executed, according to the state media and human rights organizations. Traditional authorities suspected of siding with the government were also targeted. On February 13th, armed men kidnapped four traditional chiefs in the district of Fontem, Southwest Region of Cameroon. Three of them were later found dead. These human rights abuses were committed against a backdrop of growing intercommunal tensions. Between 22nd and 26th February, at least 4,200 people were displaced from seven villages in the commune of Mwa, Northwest Region, after attacks by Fulani self-defense groups, which caused the death of at least eight people. On March 5th, gunmen attacked Fulani herders in the Lower Menchum Valley, Boyo Department, Northwest Region, killing at least 10 they blamed the livestock belonging to these herders of destroying crops. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says armed men attacked Fulani two days later in the same locality, killing at least six people, apparently in the revenge for the death of a woman who was burned to death in her home in the village of Beneng.